So recently I did a post in the Facebook group where I mentioned that uh, how you can integrate just about any possible application out of thousands of applications that are available on the internet and how you can integrate those applications inside Pabli Connect even if they are not natively integrated uh, with Pabli Connect. Now the amazing thing is we actually have a very very amazing module built inside Pabli Connect and that amazing module is named as API module. With the API module, if you, re if you really learn how you can fire a simple API call uh, to an external software, you can basically connect just about every possible system out there. And in this video, I will be showing you how exactly you can do that, how you can fire a API call uh, through Pabli Connect and how you can get things done from within the Pabli Connect software even if the application is not natively integrated inside Pabli Connect. Okay, so the very first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a new workflow and I'm just going to write the name of the workflow as API module demo because that is the very same demo that we really want to accomplish and do. Okay. Uh, now, the interesting thing about the Pabli Connect software is that the first thing that you really have to do is you just have to get data from somewhere. Okay, uh, to get the data from somewhere, you can actually get data from a webhook, which means you can just copy this URL inside your external application and you can perform some event inside your external application and as soon as the event happens, you will get some data back inside this trigger. Okay, and once you have some data inside that trigger, you can basically uh, send that data across to some other software for doing something. Okay, so in this specific example, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to create a small form using one of the our own softwares. We will be using Pabli Form Builder right here. And once we create a form, uh, we will have one single field where a person can enter their own zip code and after they enter their zip code what we will be doing is we will be sending that zip code across to a different API or an external application which is not really integrated inside Pabli Connect but we will send the data across to that API and we will fetch the data from that API about the weather of that specific zip code and then we will just email the weather data back to the Gmail account and we can will just email the weather data to that very same person who just inquired for the weather data. Okay. So the very first thing that I will be doing is I will be capturing one webhook from a form software and for that I will be creating a form first. So I will be going to forms.pabli.com right here. Okay. Just a second, let me just hide my bookmark bar. So I just opened forms.pabli.com and I'm just going to create a new form. Okay. So my form is simple two step form. It will have, uh, in fact, there will be three fields. First field will be the first name and the last name. The second field will be the email field. And the third field that I will be adding is uh, the single line text, which will ask for the zip code of your city. Okay. So my form has just three fields, first name, last name, email and zip code. Okay. And the name of this form will be uh, get weather data of your city. Okay. So as soon as I create this form, I will just share it because the form is now ready. And you can see the form link is right here. So I'll just copy this link and I will open the form right here. Okay. You can see the form is right here. And before I do anything, what I will do is I will just go to integrations tab right here and inside webhook. Okay. Uh, we will be adding a webhook of Pabli connect workflow. So I will choose, you can in fact choose the regular webhook workflow because this is whole and open system and I will just I'm, I'm just trying to explain you how open it is and how you can use just about any regular module to capture the data. Okay. So I'm just going to copy this and I'm just adding the webhook URL and I'm just clicking on add webhook. As soon as I do that, you will find that uh, 
uh, everything is connected and now whenever you will fill any data uh, that data will automatically be captured right here inside Pavli Connect. Okay, so I'm just going to click on capture webhook response and uh, we can basically enter any data right here. So I'll just write this. I will write my email address and then the zip code of the city. Uh, let's imagine in this case, San Francisco zip code. Okay, I'm just going to write the zip code of San Francisco because we want to fetch the detail of San Francisco right here. Okay, so the zip code of San Francisco is 94102. So I'll just copy this and I'll just enter the zip code of San Francisco right here and I'm just going to submit it. Okay, as soon as I do that, you will find that the data is already captured right here. Okay. Now what we really want to do is we want to send this zip code to some API or some external application so that we can actually get the weather data back of for this specific zip code. Now to do that, let's imagine you do not even have any external application integrated right here. So as you can see, there are tons of application already integrated, but in this specific case, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the regular API module right here. Okay. This means we really want to use the regular API module to fetch some data and we really want to get some data even without the native integration done. Okay. Uh, one interesting website that you should always follow is rapidapi.com. Now rapidapi.com, why do I like this website is just because you can basically find thousands of APIs, which is like small, small applications inside the rapid API platform. This means if you want to find some things, for example, there are image processing APIs, text analysis APIs, you will have SMS APIs, SendGrid API. So everything is integrated inside this single platform and you will find that there are thousands of APIs which are integrated inside Rapid API. Even inside COVID-19 data, you can get a lot of details about the COVID-19 data and you can do a lot of things using the APIs. In this specific case, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to use this API, which comes by the name of get weather by zip, because that is the very same thing that we really want to do. We want to get weather data of any specific city with the help of zip code, okay? And as you can see, as soon as I open that up, there are always some small pricing for using different APIs. And if you really ha like some API, you can definitely get them. But in this specific case, what you, what I'm really want to teach you is how you can fire a regular API, which is not really integrated inside Pabli Connect. So the very first thing that you see is that in, in order to run this API, okay, you have to enter some kind of header parameters. Even before going here, you just have to find what is the method that you have to use to fire this API. And you can see that the method to fire an API is the get method, which means get weather by zip. So there are two different type of API calls. One is the post API call and second is the get API call. When you are using the post API call, you really want to add some data inside an external software. When you are using a get API call, you really want to get data or pull data back from certain APIs. In this specific case, this API is based on get. So we are just going to go to Pabli Connect and select the action event as get because we really want to get the data back. Okay. Next thing that we have to do is we just, we can see that there are multiple header parameters that we have to do enter. And you can see the header parameter is X rapid API host. And this is the value that we have to enter. Then there is a key that we have to enter. And then we have the required parameter, which explains the zip code. And this is the zip code right here, which we can actually enter. We already have our own zip code. So we will enter that in this specific case. What I'm just going to do is I'm just going to copy this header parameter and you can see this add header parameter is right here. So I will just enter the uh, key value key here, and then I will just copy the value and I will just paste the value right here. Then I will just pl click this plus button. I will enter the second key. And then I will just enter my, uh, copy this uh, whole API key, uh, because I, I'm not sure if it is possible to copy it from here. So I'm just going to copy the whole key from 
this panel which actually shows you how you can fire the request this is the code snippet so I'm just going to copy the key from here and you can paste the key right here okay and lastly you also have to add a endpoint URL through which this get call is going to be run okay so usually you can find the get call by seeing this get method and you will see that there is a there is an endpoint URL right here okay so you can just copy this endpoint URL and you can just go to this endpoint URL and paste this endpoint URL right here okay uh, and lastly we have to set some parameters so I'll just click on set parameters and you can see the first parameter is the zip code and in fact there is just one parameter which is zip so I'm just going to copy and paste zip parameter right here and then we actually have to enter a zip code which we have already received in our earlier response which is 94102 now since we do not want to paste it uh, statically we just we will just map it up so I will just map the zip code right here and I think the whole API module is ready to be fired because we have our endpoint URL we added the headers already we had added the header key already and we already have entered the zip code because everything looks fine I'm just going to save it and then we will just try to fire a test request as soon as we fire the test request you see that it actually gave us all the data you can see the city you can see the state you can see the temperature in Fahrenheit you can see the temperature in Celsius you can see the weather uh, forecast which says a few clouds and then you can see all the different parameters right here okay this means this API is successfully fired up and and if you see and if you understand the whole concept you will find that we really haven't integrated this entire application inside Pabli Connect but still you are able to uh, fire a request and still get the data back okay and once you have the data back you can just click on this plus button and you can send this whole uh, data to someone's email the person who is inquiring the weather query and you can send an email so let me just so show you how you can send the email you can connect with Gmail since I have already connected one of my Gmail account I will just save it and here it comes the recipient name so recipient name will, will be Neeraj Agrawal the recipient email will be magnetmarketing251 at gmail.com which the person has filled on the step one from name will be Pabli weather from email will be my email account that I have already connected and I'll say weather forecast for the city name okay so weather forecast for San Francisco and hello thanks for inquiring about the weather report for for San Francisco here is the, here are the details okay so I'm just going to mention all the details so so the first detail is uh, the temperature in Fahrenheit the temperature in degree Celsius and the weather forecast so I'm not going to put everything so I'm just saying temperature in Fahrenheit and temperature in Celsius and temperature excuse my spelling if I write something in error in fact I will write weather forecast and then I will last write wind in miles per hour okay so I just entered four different values right here uh, and if you really want you can map an, as many fields as you want in this case temperature Fahrenheit comes here the temperature in Celsius uh, comes here the weather forecast uh, comes here and wind in mile per hour comes here okay you can map as many fields as you want because this is a short demo thank you Neeraj Agrawal Pabli team I think everything looks fine to me so I'm just going to save it and I'm just going to send a test request and you can see the test request is successful which means this entire workflow is working so I'm just going to save it 
and I will just head back to my Gmail account once. So you can see the weather forecast for San Francisco is already here. So you can see, hello, thank you for inquiring about the weather report for San Francisco. And here are all the details right here. Okay. So this means we have now connected everything. We connected the form. Uh, we connected our form with an API module and then we actually send the same to uh, the recipient's email. So I think this workflow is wholly created. Now what, what we can do is we can just fill out this form again. So I'll just see what is the zip code of New York. And you can see the zip code is 1001. So what I will do is I will just fill out this form again. So I will write some other name this time. And I'll say magnet marketing 251 at gmail.com. And this time the zip code, the zip code will be 1001, 1001. And I will just submit this form. Okay. So as soon as I submit it, I will just head back to my Gmail account. And you can see the weather forecast for New York City is already right here. And you can see, hello, thank you for inquiring. Uh, the weather report for New York City and temperature in Fahrenheit is 79 Fahrenheit, 26.1 degree. Weather forecast is fair and wind in mile per hour is 4.6. So as you can see that this whole API module is very, very powerful because it allows you to connect just about any possible API endpoint out there. And rapid API in itself is very powerful as well because it gives you hundreds and thousands of APIs to test. For example, if you really want to test out an API for verifying your email, you will find it at right, rapid API. So I believe that you must have understood how the whole concept works with API and how you can integrate just about any possible API solution out there. Just in case, if you have any question, you can always reach to my team at admin at pabli.com. You can also use the chat widget, which is available right here. And you can leave the message just in case if you have any questions. So thank you for watching this video. I do hope that you will find the API module very, very powerful in your requirement. Just imagine it is not just the API that you can fire. You can just fire any, you can fire request for just about any external applications out there. So thank you for watching this video.